Jones is a Jesus cocksucker. And the tongue is hot as Mary's cunt on a campfire, telling whore-master tales about his fucking mining days in the mountains of the Okanagan Seville to me. Floyd said one year we had this young nutsack come work for us in the summer. He was a slut fucking nephew of a cockpit. So of course the little cum shot was given the dog fucker special. Driving trucks back and forth up and down that Jesus whore of a mountain. You see, the road was as narrow as a cut hair and got it straight on the piss trail. Put your man in safe, you're only one fucking truck to drive it at a fucking time. You could spend your whole goddamn day with your dick up your own ass and no one would know any better. So one afternoon, just after lunch, Jack off decides that he's worked hard enough and he's gonna take a fucking nap. Well, for a cock who went to college, shithead sure wasn't the smartest turd in the manure pit as he parked his fucking truck right there in the middle of CP Rail's fucking tracks. Well, cock almighty! And that bitch of a whore came barreling down those rails like some cut liquor on fire, shit for tits, panic, one of the truck's engine, and left it stalled there just before that slut of a crane smashed it like a fucking pinion. It sounded like Thor smacking his dick on the mound. We had five fucking days of Jesus fuck down time cleaning up that cunt fucker's mess. When Floyd was done, he sat back in his easy chair like a pope on his throne, smiling like Magdalene smiles when she knows she gets to blow Jesus in the morning. There is something glorious about swearing. It's a form of chanting that's as primitive and religious as stone smashing stones, calling the gods down, demanding they get on their hands and their knees in the mud with us. A private palaver of profanity coloring the air like honeybees swift round a flower, rancid in their beauty, all the while making a window spell checker blush. So much language is used as disguise, as a veil to keep the world distant. Floyd's embellishments and prejudices were irrelevant. He drew us into our imaginations, creating an acoustic space that was as divine as any cathedral, filled with the magic and the madness of the spectacle that surrounds us. And compared to the profanities of commerce and the blasphemies of human self-righteousness, to me, Floyd was a Sufi, caught up in skirmish, mystically singing his songs. So maybe it's time we all drop a little tab of acid on the blood-hungry tongue of the sunrise so that we might reveal ourselves as the fragile, vulnerable, and exposed mutants of stars that we are. <laughs> <laughs>